N. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the terrific Tuesday, the September 14th uh, Trader's Edge uh, show. Uh, uh, gee, I t sorry, I got just totally sidetracked there. But welcome to the uh, show. I want you to absolutely know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, what I want you to know is during this next 60 minutes, I'm absolutely here to serve you. So uh, let's get uh, right uh, to these uh, markets. You can give us a call at 877-927-6648. If you, if you can't call in, we've got you covered. Let those fingers do the walking. What that means is go ahead and send me an email. Send it early. Send it to steve at tfnn.com. And inside that subject, Hitting, please put radio show question, of course, in our Tigers, Dan. Any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to La Show. Right now, we've got the Dow down 290 points. She's trading out at 34,582. The S&P is off 21, 44,47 is the uh, print. The NDX is off 28 points. That's down less than two tenths of a percent to the uh, downside. The Russell's off 1%. That's 21 points. The semis are up two tenths of a percent, or about six points out there. You've got gold up 11 bucks. Silver's up seven pennies. Lights we crude is off 34 cents. Natural gas up nine pennies. 30 year treasury up one full point. Trade out at 165 and 24 30 seconds the leaders dollar wise the upside asml holdings up 18 bucks two percent Mon God, brrr, up 17 bucks or nearly 4%. Decker's Outdoor is up 4% at $16 and change. Moderna is up 16 or nearly 4%. Crocs, haven't seen that name in a while, up nearly 12% or 16. A buckaroonies. To the downside, it's Charter Communications. That's trading down 34 points, a little over 4%. Shopify is 23 points, 1.5%. MicroStrategy, 21, 3%. SVB Financial, 3%, and 20 bucks. And 10X Genomics, Genomics is off 12 bucks or 7.5%. So, Let's begin by take. Oh, I guess I should share the screen. That would be the easiest thing. And uh, now let's begin by taking a look at the TAS market profiles. We'll start by taking a look at the ES mini. That's in the left hand panel. So, what you should notice here. Yesterday was a test and rejection of the bottom of that bullish structured profile. But a new profile is attempting to form. That profile is above price. That is typically a bearish directional message. I say typically because if I take a look at the ES mini, it still has not taken out yesterday's low. That always gives Stevie a reason to pause or say, hmm, something to think about. Now, that could easily be resolved in a second here. Uh, and so what this tells us is we should go take a look at where are the weekly profiles. And we'll do that on the next uh, table that I'll, I'll show you out there. Um, actually, let me do this here since I've got it on the other ones. Let me just take the ES Mini here, if you give me just a moment. And what we'll do is we'll put the uh, top of the weekly profile on this. And that way you'll be able to see where the next likely downside target is for the ES Mini. And... It didn't take. What's the heck? Uh, uh, what? Uh, that's not that's not right. OK, um, we'll skip that idea. We're going to go right on to the NQ out here um, <clears throat> because it's not showing the new profile inside the ES mini. So technical glitch. But Stevie's got to work around. So uh, while well, here, we're going to work around it like this. I'm just going to go right to it. And by going right to it, we go right to the weekly chart. So here, I take that back. Okay, so I was showing the correct thing. So here, the ES Mini is trading with inside its weekly profile. So its next level of support, potential support, is at 44.19. That is the center of its profile. Back to the daily time frame. Here in the daily time frame, we're going to see the NQ as soon as we can get there. Go on, come on, work with us. The NQ is trading below the bottom of its daily profile. That is at 15.487. The NQ is just an inside day. So it hasn't taken out yesterday's low. Again, a reason to pause. If price does head lower, the level that it should target is 15,309. 15,309 is the top of its weekly profile. In the case of the Dow, that's the weak indice out here. The interesting thing about the Dow, let me do this here. Let me, uh, oh, I see, I've already got that. Okay, so give me a second. I want to just turn off a couple of things inside the Dow. 
Hmm. I'm going to get rid of the weekly profiles for the moment. And the reason, and I'm going to also get rid of price. So what I want you to just take a look at here, uh, and this is important, or it could be important. If we take a look at the new profile that's attempting to form in the Dow, which is the weekend to see out here, you'll notice that this is a bullish structured profile. Bullish in structure because the center, which is currently priced at 34,890, is much closer to the bottom, which is at 34,584, versus the top, which is at 35,504. So it's bullish in structure because at the top, at 35,504, there's only sellers. At the bottom, 34,585, there's only buyers. And at the center is where both buyers and sellers, that entire group, believe that price is fairly valued with inside that range. Well, if you've got Buyers at 34,890 and some sellers, we'll just call it 50 50, and you got buyers at 34,584, that should be your strong level of support. Now, that's one thing to take a look at. We won't get a firm message on this profile until this evening at 601. The profile has not changed all day long, so it seems like it's pretty solid, but we won't get that confirmation until tomorrow. The second message here is that this entire profile has wrapped around the prior profile. That is both. That is a consolidation message uh, to expect a consolidation pattern. So that's the message of the daily profiles. As we turn price back on, what we're going to see is prices trading below the bottom of that daily profile. So the level to be watching at day's end, where is it that the Dow equity future contract closes? If it is above 34,584 and this profile does take hold, that could be signaling to you and I a bottom that is out here or really a consolidation message. So the message of the Dow right now is a consolidation message, which is the pattern that the Russell 2000 has been trading in for quite some time as I pull this back here. So and price is trading below the bottom of its daily profile. And you can see that little white uh, square rectangle-ish uh, figure out here. That's the larger consolidation inside the Russell 2000. Now I'll go back to those weekly time frame charts out here. And on a weekly time frame chart, the message is relatively simple. Consolidation inside the Dow right now. That's where price is trading between the top and bottom of that profile. Profile. consolidation inside the Russell 2000, a consolidating type pattern inside the uh, ES Mini. And the NQ is trading above the top of that profile. So unlike the ES Mini, which was forming a daily profile above price, the NQ is forming a weekly profile below price. And that's a bullish message, just like the opposite was true in the ES Mini for its daily time frame. Now, in the case of the NQ, it may be all about Apple. So Apple is, uh, I believe... Um, Tim Cook is on stage now. I don't know what he's uh, discussing, uh, new iPhones and so forth. So we'll get a chance to take a look at Apple's price behavior uh, during this session. If we take a look at what Apple is doing right now, we can see that Apple two days ago, uh, the news of that um, legal uh, uh, issue with regard to its uh, uh, app store out there, price closed below the bottom of that profile. Yesterday was a test and rejection of that level, and today price is trading below that. So that takes us over to the weekly profiles, of which right now price is below the top of that profile, 150. Price closes below 150, that should signal a move back to 145.41. Steve Rhodes with TFNN, would love to hear from you folks, 877-927-6648. We'll be back in just a few. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right. 
information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So our first question inside the Tigers, and it's the only question that we've got in at the moment, is with regard to the NQ. And uh, John Z in the Tigers Den is looking for some downside, possible downside targets. So, John, we'll, we'll take a look at this a couple of different ways. The first way is take a look at the TAS market profiles. We sort of covered that during that first segment. I just want to um, restate it. We can see here, in, in the case of the NQ, Brand new weekly profile, that's the yellow bars that you see across the screen, is attempting to form below price. That's a bullish message. So the next level of support, because price is trading below the bottom of its daily profile, is going to be 15309. If price closes below 15309, this is a bearish structured profile that's attempting to form. The next level of support would be 15109. If price closes below 15,109 because it's bearish and structured, that would then signal move back to 14,810. So those would be, and that's in lieu of any new daily profiles that would form. There is none at the moment. So those would be the profile levels to be watching and observing inside the NQ. But we don't just stop there. We go take a look at that multi time frame setup that Steve's got that eight panel set of charts out here. And that's what's going to show up on the screen next. So in addition to those levels, let's say 15,309. Uh, if we look at the monthly time frame chart for the NQ, I'll just expand this out. You're going to see that its oscillator and change line reading right now, John, is in the 14,659 area. So that is also a, another downside target. Now, you're not dealing with that until price gets below that 15,309 level, but 14,659 on a monthly basis most certainly is a price target to the downside, the oscillator and change line, which has been tested uh, several times over the last uh, year or so, and that has held. We are entering potentially wave, I'm not, uh, well, wave number seven. I've got that as one potential uh, uh, topping signal, but that can't be confirmed until next month. And we also have a TD9 count pattern that is present, but the TD9 count can form its high if it's going to form a top on the bar following bar number nine. So that could be an October high. And my preference, folks, is that the markets pull back into October because markets that move up into October, well, there have been a couple of them that have led to some pretty significant declines out there. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but I am saying it would be better for the market, which right now at this stage, it's following along that path of moving lower into the October area out there. Or we could just be in a consolidation, which is really the message of the Dow daily 
TAS market profile. But we're talking about the NQ. If we take a look at the weekly chart, last week what the NQ did, John, was it formed a Rhodesman to indicator top. It did that because it formed a bearish reversal candle, a dark cloud cover candle. Now price is below the oscillator and change line. Geez, its next price target to the downside. Again, we've already taken a look at the profile levels. So the lowest profile level there was the 14.810 level. If price got below that, then you're looking at the breakout here of 13.462.25. That is on the weekly time frame for the NQ. The only way for me to get that, John, is to use the uh, continuous contract, especially now with December, uh, just rolling into it um, last uh, on Friday, and I uh, won't have enough data. to. You know, so, so that becomes a price target area. Now, let's get back to the one that's more important to you more important to us. That's the daily time frame. On a daily basis, looks like today will become bar number five of a TD9 count. Maybe a TD9 count bottom forms, just as a TD9 count formed at the top, where we'll expand out the uh, daily time frame chart. And its target is going to be its breakout level. Uh, I'll pull this over here to the left. That's at 1507650. So if price closed below 15309, the center of the weekly profile was at 15109. The bottom of the breakout level is at 15076. So the 15076 area is where you should see strong support if price gets down there. Again, that's looking at the December NQ contract. Now, if we go to some of the intraday time frames, the 30-minute chart as an example. The 30-minute chart out here shows a nice Rhodesmentum indicator signal. We were taking a look at this yesterday. Um, as we were going into the close, I think I, I wrote about this um, uh, just as we were as we were coming back on the I think I can't, I can't recall. Now, it might not have been the NQ that we we're looking at. It might have been the ES. It doesn't matter. My, my memory's not so good. Here's what we do know. We know that at uh, three o'clock yesterday, another a piercing candle form that was a bullish reversal candle confirming that Rhodes momentum indicator signal. Since then, we've had an A to B equal CD to the upside. So that completed, that looks like this. This is, again, the 30-minute time frame chart. So here's your A to B point. All I'm going to do is just move that uh, A to B point to the C to D level. That would take us to about, like, about right there. So you can see that that pattern completed, completed, formed a bear sash candle. All price has done inside the NQ is pull back and test support, the bottom of the profile, 15,398. So what do we know about the NQ? Formed a beautiful bottom, Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. Goes on, makes an A to B equal CD. Completes that pattern, what does price do? Remember, any top or bottom pattern, all it's really suggesting that price should do is get back and test support. So on a 30-minute time frame, uh, the NQ has done that. Now, the NQ is trading with inside its profile. Now, you'd like me to tell you where price is going to go from here. All I can share with you, and maybe you didn't know this before we got on this segment, was that in the 30-minute time frame, the NQ has pulled back to test the level of support. That could be setting up a larger A to B equals CD pattern. I'm not going to call that just yet because price needs to close about 15,439.03. That's not the high of the day. That happens to be the high of the current bearish structured profile that price is trading in. If price can get above that, then we should see this morning's highs revisited out here. But has the NQ broken down? I mean, we looked at the daily time frame chart and, and absolutely that has a different message than what's going on short term. But right now, short term says, hey, not so fast to the downside. That's what the 30-minute chart says. How about the other time frames out here? Well, if you look at the 60-minute, you, in essence, have the exact same message out here. If you look at the 120-minute time frame, I don't have any message for you. I mean, I have to go back and look at the A to B equals CD patterns, and I'm sure there are some there. The only message here is that uh, price found resistance on the bounce up at the top of that profile, which is 15,471. That would be a level to take a look at. If price could above that, that tells you about a further rally. If price closes below 15,364, uh, that tells you that you go back and revisit the lows of yesterday, but maybe even do something more than that. 240 minute time frame chart, the oscillator and change line is acting as resistance, the same thing on the five hour time frame chart. So I'd watch the 30 minute chart out here inside of the NQ. I know you're asking me for all those downside targets out here, but the uh, 30 minute chart is saying, hey, hold your horses. Hold your horses. Let's go ahead and see how the uh, how that uh, plays out. Uh, see if uh, Tim Cook can uh, run in and save the day for Apple. So, John, I hope that helps answer your question with regard to downside targets inside the NQ. Thanks so much for writing in. We'll check the email here real quickly, see if we've got any messages. We don't have any messages. So uh, let's just uh, let's stay on this part here. 
And as we did for the NQ, let's go take a look at the different instruments. Let's go take a look at the Dow. So we'll take a look at the Dow equity future contract. Downside targets inside the YM. First is going to be 33, and not in this order. I'm just going from left to right. So on the monthly time frame chart, the asset, there's no topping signal at all on a monthly time frame, at least not just yet. We have to let September complete. But any downside target, you would anticipate price finding support at 33,854. 33,854. Is that what I said? Yeah. 33,854. And price is trading below the bottom of that new daily profile that's attempting to form. So that's a possibility. But we know that really what the Dow is doing is just consolidating inside its weekly time frame. So the key number in the Dow, the key number in the Dow is going to be 34,392. If price closed below that, then this 33,854 range could actually come into being. We'll finish off the Dow as soon as we get back from this point. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be dfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. So we're taking a look at the Dow Equity Future Contract. That's YM. We're now going to the weekly time frame chart. On the weekly time frame chart, we know that this formed about four weeks ago, Rhodes Mintum Indicator Top. And uh, that would suggest if price were to close below 34,392, that doesn't show up on this chart, but that is the bottom of the weekly profile out here, then the price target becomes 33,623. That's the weekly breakout area. 
On a daily time frame out here, all we have is a sell the D point. So that's a topping signal out here. Price is below the bottom of that uh, profile. 34,392 has to fail. If that takes place, even though we've got 33,623, the daily breakout level will be at 33,530. Now, this is live. So at 1.30 in the afternoon, what do we know about 1.30 in the afternoon on a 30-minute chart out here? Well, there was a Rhodes Momentum Indicator bottom pattern on the 30-minute time frame that actually confirmed right here with this bullish reversal candle. That was at 2 in the morning. That was after price moved up, found resistance at the bottom of the profile that existed, pulled back, was basically a double bottom test. It missed it by a penny or two, I believe. And then price went ahead and took off and formed an A to B equals CD to the upside. As we were coming into that 130 time frame, price was retesting that prior low out here. So that prior low, by the way, is going to be or is uh, 34,481. Now, what I don't really have out here is a bottom signal to go with the hammer candle that took place at 131. But you do have a hammer candle that did form at at, uh, at a prior set of lows out there. So what that just simply communicates to you and I is that with regard to traders on the 30-minute time frame, they are trying to hammer out a bottom at prior lows out here. Can they? Well, I was going to say, or I did say, that if price closed below 34,481, that that might then suggest price moving lower. But because that was a hammer candle, it's now the low of that pattern or that candlestick at 34,432. So that's the key level to be observing and watching. What should take place here? Well, because it's outside of the profile, I would be guessing, and I don't know. Price might get up into test that oscillator and change line, but I don't really have a signal other than the hammer candle at the prior low to say that that's going to take place. But what we do know is that on a 30-minute basis, those traders are trying to hold that level. So close below that. That would say, hey, we move lower. You had the same kind of pattern going on on the 60-minute time frame, 34,482. That's a TD9 breakout level. So, again, potential level of support. And I don't have anything else to share with you on the 122.40 or the five-hour chart. So we've done the NQ. We've done the Dow. Let's go do the Russell 2000. Then we'll finish this off by taking a look at the ES Mini. In the case of the Russell 2000, what do we know? Well, we know that on a... Monthly time frame, support is at the 2162 level. I believe that's it. Oops, uh, I'm going to have to do it this way. 2162. So that's its downside potential support. Weekly time frame, all we've had is a sideways consolidation ever since this formed a Rosemont indicator top. That topping signal came to us on March 19th. And ever since then, in essence, we have a sideways consolidation. You've seen that on the daily setup up here. If price is going to continue to move lower, its next level of support is going to be at 2165. 2165 is daily breakout level. The 30-minute time frame chart here just confirmed a Rhodes Momentum indicator bottom as we came into that 130 time frame. Now, we'll expand this out. So the ideal setup here would be if this is form that pattern into this bullish structured profile. Is this a bullish structured profile? And it most certainly is. So the bottom and the center, 22, 15, 60, they're both at the same level out here. And so this is suggesting that price should, one, target the oscillator and change line. That's at currently at 22, 23. And if price can close above the oscillator and change line, then price should make its way up to the top of the profile. That's at the 2232 level. So the Russell 2000, as we speak right now, has generated a 30-minute Rhodes Momentum indicator bottom with a bullish structured profile. That's really the type of setup that you want to see out there. And that suggests, again, its price targets, its battles are going to be the oscillator and change line, 2223 or so, and then 2232, the top of its daily profile. On a 60-minute time frame, I just simply have price pulling back and retesting its Rhodes Momentum Indicator signal from yesterday. The same thing on the 120-minute chart, the same thing on the 240. So it's got valid bottoming signals that have not been taken out. Hmm, something to think about. So those are the patterns to be watching there. Let's go take a look at the ES Mini and round this thing out. As we take a look at the ES Mini, here's what we're going to find. The upper left, monthly time frame chart. Its next potential downside target for that time frame would be 42.47, the oscillator and change line. The ES Mini, um, I'm sure I can come up with an A to B equals CD pattern that was confirmed with last week's bear sash candle. That suggests this is outside of the profile. So on a weekly basis for the ES Mini, next downside price target, the center of its profile at 44.79. 
I'm sorry, 4419. And then below that would be profile wise 4321. Here you've got in a price close below 4321, the weekly breakout level for the ES mini is at 4126. That would be its price target. Now, bar number six should form today in the ES mini. And price is pulling back to its breakout level of 4426. So that's really its next downside price target out here. The 30 minute chart, I don't have a lot. Oh, it was a TD9 count that we were looking at in the ES mini. So. I mentioned uh, if we take a look at the Russell 2000, that the ideal trade setup is forming some type of bottom and end price getting into or being inside a bullish structured profile, such as the uh, RTY, such as the Russell 2000. Inside of the uh, ES Mini yesterday, we had this form a TD9 count bottom on the bar following bar number nine. And on the bar following bar number nine, um, that low was at 44.3650. That has been retested again this morning here. This came in at the 130 hour. This TD nine count pattern at the bottom on the 30 minute chart is still in place out here. After that pattern form, the very next thing, or about an, uh, and an hour later, exactly an hour later at 3.30, a bullish structured profile form. And that's really what you want to see because that's going to give you, bullish structured profiles are going to give you a key level of support. It doesn't guarantee that the trade works, but you're really looking for support. You're looking for buyers, obviously, if you're going long. So we use those bullish structured profiles. So on the 30 minute basis, if we were to summarize everything, on the 30 minute basis, everything's just come back and retested bottoming patterns from uh, yesterday. And that kind of goes along the message of what the daily Dow equity future contract showed us, which was a new profile that suggests a consolidating market. And that's the signal that we're going to go with at this moment. Now, so we've been through those. I guess we could go through gold as long as I'm over on this uh, screen out here. So let's do that. We've got about a minute and we'll finish this off. So in the case of Goldilocks, if gold can close above 1799.20, that is a daily oscillator and change line. That would be a positive development and may say that there's more rally to come. Now, your question should be rally to where, Steve-O? Excellent question. The rally should take us up to the top of its profile. Again, this is the December contract we're looking at, and the top of that profile is at 1820. So a close today above 1799.20 should take gold up to the 1820 level. If I look at a 30-minute time frame out here, what do we see? On a 30-minute basis, we see that price closed above a key level of resistance. That was 1798. That is suggesting rally on for gold. If we take a look at the 60 minute chart, it broke through TD9 breakdown resistance. Same on the 120. Trading above the top of the 240 minute profile at 1803 and above the top of the five hour profile at 1801. Gold is signaling to you and I that it's got more rally left. That more rally may only be up to about the 1820 level, but that's more rally. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we're taking a look at the uh, next question that had come in. Uh, this is coming in from uh, Rich in Oregon. Hey, Rich, uh, thanks so much for uh, listening out there and, uh, and writing in. And, and Rich's question goes like this. Does your charting indicate a reason to hold MRO, MRO is Marathon Oil, at this time period in September and going into October? So, Rich, uh, what I have up on my screen here, and, I, and you're referring to the unfavorable seasonal time period, the September, October time period out there. So that's the why I believe that's why Rich has mentioned that. Now, what I wanted to put up here right now, the correlation that we're looking at, this is Marathon Oil up at the top. The center is light sweet crude and the bottom is a five day correlation. So when those bars are to the upside above zero, that tells you there's a positive directional correlation. So we can conclude from this and for the most part, Marathon Oil trades in the direction of uh, of light sweet crude now what i can also do here and we'll do this just curious i have no idea what the results are i don't need to know we're just trying to figure this out so so we've got that positive correlation does marathon oil also have the same type of correlation to the stock market so what i would use here i think i will use the s p5 i just use the spies just put the spy in here and i'll put the spy down below spy and this will give us our correlation and yeah, there's a directional correlation there too. So what do you do? Well, first to answer his question with regard to, is there a technical reason? That's the question. Is there a technical reason to my chart show? Uh, cancel this, what did I do there? Oh, Lord. Okay, back to it. So the question is, does the charts indicate a reason to jettison this position? So the first thing that we'll do, we'll stay on this black background chart out here, and we'll go to the multi time frame, the three different time frames. So when we take a look at Marathon Oil Rich, price is trading above the top of its daily profile. That's normally a bullish signal that says go then to the weekly. The weekly says you're consolidated inside the weekly. The daily says it's now bullish. Price would likely target 1271. We don't have any close and below support, so I can't say to jettison the position. And price is consolidating with inside his brand new weekly profile with resistance being in the 1201 to 1278 level. Let's go take a look at Marathon Oil's other chart patterns. We're going to switch over, switch screens. We're going to go to Stevie's eight panel screens out there. Monthly time frame, you've got a TD9 count top. Price is consolidating inside that profile. TD9 count top on side the, in the weekly. You've got a, a Rhodes Mintum indicator pattern. But price is pulled back and is tested and held its breakout support level. So the work to the downside inside of Marathon Oil may be done. That was at 1087. The daily time frame maybe is trying to form an A to B equal CD to the upside. We don't have that pattern just yet. Price would need to close above. And if you could close this in Marathon Oil, 1219, do it with more than 11 million shares, you'd then have a confirmed A to B equals CD to the upside. The 195-minute chart says that if price can close above 
$12.40 rich, likely we're going to see the 1271 fulfilled. 1240 is the TD9 breakdown level. Nothing giving us much information on the 130 nor the 65. Um, a 30 minute chart showed a road's momentum indicator top price point back and holding support, which is 1180. Again, no reason to sell there. And a 15 minute chart, not a ton of information. So the answer to your question is to your question, does your charting indicate a reason to hold MRO at this time period? The answer is yes. Yeah, so I, it, 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 it's yes out there. Now, I have no idea when you got into this trade or what have you. I would say, though, a close below 1090, that could be problems. That could certainly take price back to the 969 level. That's the bottom of that new monthly profile that is formed. But right now, as we speak, Rich in Oregon, yeah, I, I don't have a signal. I don't have reason to tell you to uh, close it. The next question coming in from Hector and the fuel injectors. And so we're staying in the theme here of uh, oil, CVX, I believe that is a Chevron. So let's get that fired up on the um, on the eight panel charts out here. And let's actually go read Hector's question. Oh, happy taco tequila Tuesday. Now that's a powerful combo out there. I may have to take you up on that. Although, you know, I, I, I'm over COVID, but I still have the one symptom, the one gosh darn symptom of no taste, which you guys already knew I had no taste um, uh, and no smell. And well, that's, that could be a positive thing, although I'm not really sure how that really works out there. Um, that's, the, that's the only negative thing. So if I drink tequila or any alcohol, it literally tastes like drinking rubbing alcohol. So as you can guess, Stevie really doesn't drink much anymore. And uh, not until that taste comes back. And it is many spiffs that out there. Hey, Steve, oh, you didn't have taste to begin with. Why would you want that to come back? In any event, <laughs> Hector's asking about Chevron. Get to it already. So CVX, we are chopping at the bit to load up on Chevron, okay, for a potential 10% pop up between now and Christmas. What are our thoughts? So let's take a look at the charts out here. First, on the monthly time frame, I don't have any kind of signal to speak of. Price is trading above the top of the monthly profile. So Hector, as long as it holds 95.90, that's a positive thing. The weekly has got a road's momentum indicator top and price is below the weekly profile. So this says you can't really load up the truck until price gets back above 98.63. I'm not talking about intraday. I'm talking about a weekly close above 98.63. Yeah, that's what that's saying. And even if it does that, it's got resistance, potential resistance at 101.15. That is the oscillator and change line for the weekly time frame. Now, the daily absolutely has a road's momentum indicator bottom. But all that has done is led to really this sideways move out here. Um, and price is actually even below the daily profile of 98.06. So, so what do you do? You know, I go to the 95 minute, the 195 minute chart. It really shows what the daily does. 15 minute, I've got a TD9 count bottom. Price has to close above 97.04 on a 15 minute time frame to suggest a move to 97.47 or 98.35. No pattern on the 30 minute yet. Yeah, it shows a TD9 count, but bar five was the low of that pattern. So that doesn't qualify as a bottoming signal out here. So I don't know, Hector, what is it? that is going to take Chevron out of this little consolidation on the daily time frame. Did I delete it? Well, Hector, that was a very unsmooth. There, there goes that, hey, Steve-O, you really have no taste out there. Instead of expanding the chart, which is what I wanted to do, I actually closed it out. So that's a bummer, but not too much of a bummer. Stevie's always got a backup plan, plan B out here. And plan B says... Uh, let's go take a look at the uh, black background chart. So as we do that, what I was going to say to you, Hector, is what is it that you've got that tells you that Chevron is going to bust through this little consolidation that it's in? And so the only thing that I could then say, to the extent that you want to load up a truck, knowing that we've got a nice daily roads momentum indicator bottom, is let's go ahead. So this is pulling back today. The last time swing point was down at the bottom of that consolidation was on September 9th, 10.2 million shares. You're already at 8 million shares. It's inside that swing point. So if you want to nibble, load up on the truck, then wait for price to get back and test that September 9th low. And that's at the 95.35 level out there. Uh, but remember, dangerous, though, because prices are below daily, weekly, um, not up below the monthly profile uh, just yet. So I don't see the load up your truck. 
uh, just yet. Even though Lightspeed Crew is trying to form an A to B equals C to them. So, so I hope that helps you out, Hector, and I hope you have a good uh, tequila taco Tuesday. You do me a favor. You have a shot for Steve-O. Hope you're right Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. Hey, we're going to do a twofer for Hector and the fuel injectors. And that next symbol is Prologis, PLD. And Hector's question is, uh, is this light pullback today a, um, a buying opportunity or bullish? So, yeah, price is pulling back, Hector. Uh, it's 864,000 shares. Uh, but volume is only one element of the trade. What, what, what is not good about ticker symbol PLD Prologis right now is that yesterday price closed below the defense. And that means that the quarterback got sacked or is about to get sacked. And uh, because when you when you when you lose your defense, which is the bottom of the profile, that's at 133.53. Uh, that says, uh, hey, defense is going to be able to push through. So they're going to push that quarterback back to the yard line of 130.36. 130.36 happens to be the top of the bearish structured weekly profile that formed below price, which is a bullish message. So. It's either price pulling back to the 128.92, the center of that weekly profile, or 130.36. That would more likely be the price target there for some type of bottoming pattern. Now, what you'd want to see take place at 
as that is happening, is you'd love to see a TD nine count pattern or some type of bottom form out here. Right now, since it's going to be day number four, we'll go with that uh, TD nine count as the uh, potential uh, 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 pattern out here. And that's what I see when I take a look at uh, ticker symbol PLD. So yeah, it's got light volume, but and and not having these TAS market profiles definitely or having these gives us a competitive advantage because we know right where the defense lined up. And that defense got mauled yesterday as price closed through it. Now, we always like to have two consecutive closes to confirm that message. And as long as price closes below 133.53, uh, Hector, that is the message for Pro Logis Inc. So, folks, stay tuned. We've got two more great hours lined up for you. Your favorite polar bear, David White, he's up next with the Power Trading Hour. Uh, Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home. I'll be back with you on wonderful Wednesday. I want you to have a terrific, a taco and tequila Tuesday. Thanks so much for being here, folks. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems